Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here. So today we are going to recycle some envelopes and create some gorgeous envelopes from recycled ones. I have been having so much fun and I thought you might enjoy coming on this journey with me today, helping me out. This has just been so fun. Let's see if we look clear. Let, let's see if I do this. I'm not sure if I can even, if you, can you see the writing on that? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is that you are watching this video. I hope that I am finding you well and happy and that things are working for you. So, I want to give a shout out to Barbara with 49 dragonflies, I have used her digitals to create these gorgeous envelopes. And that's what we're going to do today. Before we get into it, which we will do shortly, let me just show you um, what I am working with. These backgrounds are just, they're just wonderful. And I have printed off. This is what we're going to use today to create an envelope. So I have printed two. It can take two envelopes, or two, um, excuse me, not envelopes, uh, two printables to be able to do one envelope depending on what you do with it. And I've trimmed off the little edge that goes around but let me show you these others they're just all really really beautiful I'll show that really quickly and these are her French floral backgrounds I believe is that what they're called I will put the link in the description below so that you can take a peek at that uh, they're just they're just so pretty so so pretty and they're just soft and delicate to where you can just have, so, and I have, <laughs> have so much fun working with them. Um, and if you purchase them from Barbara's shop and you mention, I'll give you the code, my code, you can get 10% off your whole order. So that's pretty amazing as well. So I said, just, just so pretty. Like, for instance, this is this envelope that I've turned this way. That's what we did with that one. Um, let's see, this one was, or is, depending on how you look at it. That's this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this one is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, this one right here, just, just so pretty. You can do so much with them. So those are the background. Let me set that off to the side. This is also what I am using, and this is her Vintage Lady Clip Art. As you can see, I have already used this image. I have used this image. And I have used this image so far. And we are going to use this image today with the one that we're doing. So just a super fun. And I just love these ladies. I mean, a little bit of collage behind them and a word strip and you're good to go. Okay, let me set that off to the side. Also, I am using, just want to show you all the goodies that I'm using before we get started. She also has this gorgeous bird prints 
vintage bird clips um, clip art and I have reduced those down these I printed on the 5 by 7 uh, size of photo and that is what you see here this bird image let me get it up so you can see it better it blends in the colors are so gorgeous they blend in but that was this image right there and then and then she said <laughs> and then here is the amazing vibrant flying critters clip art I love these oh my gosh these are just so beautiful and as you can see this is this one and then I have taken these small ones which I printed in the 5 by 7 size which gives you this size right here so this is a wonderful size to work with for smaller types of images but then I love the regular size of them as well so we'll put those off to the side and then I have also highlighted the sentiments black these are wonderful and you can see that I've done these on two of the envelopes now this one is a different one of Barbara's it's another set and I will link it below I apologize I forgot to actually print um, an uncut <laughs> I have a lot of this stuff cut and, and uh, put in a little container but I will have the links for all of those for you okay now let's put some of that off to the side and let's get started so what I did I do not throw away my envelopes because you you never know right envelope art but I had the idea, um, and it just recently, actually, it's like, I want to use an envelope, but I, I don't want to make a pocket. I don't want to make a, a, you know, that kind of a thing. I, I just, I want to have it be an envelope and that I could actually mail if I wanted to or, you know, put a card inside so that it actually looks like an envelope so then I grabbed some of these and a lot of these are Christmas ones um, and different sizes here's a you know what well that's a smaller one but well let's see this might work I don't know I have also pre-cut the images that I want to use today so that we wouldn't be spending time together on that that might be just a smidgen small for what I want to do today let's see that's a little bigger I don't want to do it huge but I don't know well let's do this one and th this is me my address I'm not trying to keep that a secret uh, you can send me happy mail if you want um, no hate mail please <laughs> okay let's take this one and let me just let me just take that off and then I won't be giving anything away that I shouldn't be okay so keeping in mind when I open my envelopes in the mail I use an envelope a letter opener I use something like this and I'll get in and you know I do this so my envelopes are usually in pretty good shape that way and of course it's gone through the mail and it's not perfect but this will work okay now what you can do is to open it up you can either use your bone folder not your bone folder your letter opener sorry come on I'm not doing that very straight you can do it like that or you can trim off the ends which is what I'm going to do just because you know 
that's what I like. <laughs> that's what I like. It looks nice and straight and pretty, and it didn't get all wrinkly from my, you know, my snipping it or trying to use it uh, in a better way. Okay, now let's go ahead also, while we've got this open, let's just trim this for just a sec. Okay, and if you do use a rotary cutter, try to remember, guys, to always put your guard on when you're not cutting. Okay, now look what we've got. We've got this wonderful space, and this is going to become the outside of our envelope. And this is going on the inside. That's that's what we're doing. We're literally recycling these. These, this, these looked just like one of these before I got started. And you can see how beautiful they are. And they're really sturdy, too. So these would go nicely through the mail. Okay. So... If you're not really into the measuring thing, that's okay. You just need to kind of eyeball it, I guess. So you, what I have been doing is using these uh, portrait uh, lengthwise going this, this way, up and down, so that I have better coverage of my envelope. And then what I do is, now it looks, so on this one, I will have, this will go on this side, which is really nice. Sometimes it would be on this side. I like this. And it will fold over, but first we've got to do a couple of things. Number one, now that it folds over, I have to decide which is going to be the flap side. If I have this where the flap is, if I have that be my flap side, then I need to add an additional um, flap so that it can come over, you know, to shut so that I can mail it or whatever I would be doing with it. And I want the non-flap side cut down just a little bit so that it doesn't get in the way. And let's see, which do we want? How do we want to do this? I think we'll go ahead, we'll let this be the flap side. So I'm going to trim the opposite side down just a little bit. And I am just going to, you know, just kind of eyeball it about that's I don't know, that's probably more like three-eighths than a quarter of an inch, but that's okay. Just a little bit. It, you don't want it to be too much, but a little bit. So you can see the difference here. Now we need to get a flap on here. Um, and a side note, if you're doing a colored envelope, like I showed you some of these, like this one is red and... I think I had a yellow one or something in there, maybe. Um, you can try to get match that, or you can just go ahead and use it as is, just making sure because you will be covering that flap. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem with what you're perhaps wanting to do there. I have these cutoffs. When I send something in my out for my Etsy customers, I print labels and then I have this extra, so I don't like to throw those away. So I am just going to eyeball this. I'm going to put this on top, and I am going to actually I'm going to stand up here. I don't want to. It's hard a little bit to see that, but I'm going to cut that down. 
All right. So that is going to be the width. And then you decide how you want how you want to do it as far as how much do you want it to come over? And I think about a two, let's see, let me measure these and see what I did on those. That's just under two. This is two. This is two and almost two and a half. So you can see I didn't, you know, I didn't really measure them. I just kind of eyeballed it. But that's kind of in the range. And I also want a, a, a fold. <laughs> I want a, a little flap to glue it to my envelope. So that's what we're going to do now. What I'm doing, those of you that have a scoreboard, I used to have one. And I cleaned my my studio and I hadn't used it a lot and so I gave it away and now I'm thinking I shouldn't have given it away but you know so this is a stylus and I have this is a map board so this kind of does the same thing sort of it's not quite as good but I think it'll work for our purpose here. Alrighty, so now let's see, keeping in mind this is the front. <laughs> I know this seems very weird, but I'm just going to so I don't forget <laughs> and which side is up. <laughs> I have been known to, you know, sometimes that can escape me. Alright, do I glue it on either side? It really doesn't matter because it's going to all be covered up. But for this purpose today, I think we'll just we'll glue it on the back. And as you can see, I am just getting in here. I am using art glitter glue. Use what glue you feel works for you and works well either I think will be fine you just need it to work you know okay all right so our flap is on now if I were not going to cover both sides I might I could go ahead and turn this down fold it and that could become my flap but it's going to make it even a little more bulky so I won't do that also what I am doing is I'm kind of touching up around the little parts that when you mail an envelope they don't really it doesn't really all uh, stick down nicely. I think that'll work. We've got those two ends. Just depends upon your envelope as to how much you need to sort of work with that. All right, so here's our front. This is going to come down like so. And now I have to decide do I want this to go straight across? Do I want to make a V? Do I, what do I want to do with this part of the envelope? Let me show you some choices. This one, as you can see, I have made a V. And then you have to make sure that your flap comes down long enough to cover the V. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So that's the V. And here, what I've done is just done a little uh, notch with my circle cutter just to give it a little something so I could pull whatever card or letter is in here out easily, but it's mostly straight across. Let's see what I did on this one, this other one. 
Now this one, I chose to angle in a little bit here. So it really just depends on what you're interested in doing. Try some different ones and see what you like. For today, what we're doing together, I think we'll go ahead and do a V and I'll show you how I do mine. I'll show you how I do mine. Okay, for this part, I do want a little bit of a ruler because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three and a half, three and a half is my center. And I've gone down an inch and a half and three and a half. So you see what I'm doing? So this is going to be the center of the V. And so I will go ahead and cut that. And of course, I'm going to use my, my rulers and my rotary cutter, but you can use scissors. You could draw a line there. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to come into the center. And then I'm going to flip it around and end up at the corner up here. Okay, so we just cut that out. And you could keep that. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we have, we know how, where this is going to be. So our flap needs to come down beyond that. I'm going to say about a half of an inch, which is about right in here. Let's see, right in, yeah. Right here-ish. So I'm just gonna fold this up, okay? And actually that's coming down, oh, that's actually coming down about an inch. I don't think we need it quite that far. Let's, let's fold that again. I'll use my bone folder this time. I think that's good. All right, so now I'm going to trim that off. Okay, so now you have more scraps. Okay, now we have our envelope all ready to go. You could, you guys, you wouldn't have to cover it with paper if you didn't want. You could go ahead and you could paint, you could do some art, you could do some stamping. You could just do kind of a collage -y type thing if you wanted. Um, you've got your envelope here. So, I mean, looked kind of funky this way, but you could, you know, it would be kind of fun to do some, I think just some cool collaging on it could be really fun as well. Just saying that you don't have to do, you know, what I'm doing, but hopefully this will, you know, just kind of spur you with some ideas of, for creativity and just kind of get going. And I thought another thing that would be kind of special was something like this. Say you get something in the mail, a card from, from a grandchild or a grandma or grandpa or whatever, something special from someone, and you want to kind of keep that, you could take that envelope and then you could repurpose that envelope and you could go ahead and make an envelope and send it back to them and share with them, you know, anyway, that was just the thought that I had that would be kind of make it even a little bit more special. All right. Now I'm probably going to take a little bit, angle this just a teeny bit, but I'm not going to do that until we go ahead and cover our paper. All right, so the way I did mine, 
And that is, let's see, I have to remember. For now, I'm just ignoring this with the V. I'm going to take my paper and let's see. I'm going to need to take off oops, about like that. So let's do that. Now I can measure that, and that looks like about an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to cut that off. Let's take a peek, see. It's just a, actually, it's just a smidge and too big, or too little, but that's okay because I can make my envelope just to, I can cut that extra white off, so it's not a big deal. All right, so let's line that up. I'm gonna put this over, and I want to kind of give this a fold where that's going to be. I want to fold that so that it's easier to fold it after I've brought it up over my flap, see? If I don't, then it's more difficult for me to find where is that. So I just kind of do that. And then, <laughs> and then she said, and then I'm just going to fold that. Let's see if we did an okay job on that or if we need to change that around okay keeping in mind here's my envelope here's the outside this is the part that I would be mailing or and you absolutely can keep these you could put them in a journal there's no reason why you can't do that as well and then this flap will come down see it will be covered with the Two sides here so it extends a little bit and I don't know yet let me think a thinking thinking um, I'm gonna leave this little extra it it overlaps my fold here about a half an inch but I'm going to leave it for right now and I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. So we will just do this. I hope that this is going to be a little bit interesting to you as far as kind of open up some new avenues. I mean, we who doesn't love to play with envelopes and different things that way and I certainly have been enjoying making them and whatnot and so this is just kind of a just another take on something that that we all kind of enjoy doing but and I haven't seen anybody else do what I'm doing but that doesn't mean they haven't um, I just I haven't seen it done but I love the idea of recycling and not, you know, cluttering up. Can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> I can't think and talk at the same time, you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to readjust that. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So what have you been working on lately? Oh, good one, Rhonda. Okay. All right, just a sec. Let me... I keep the water handy. One sec. I will be right back here with my washcloth. And we will clear that out. Uh, 
That's why I keep the water handy. <laughs> because periodically I need it. I think we'll re-glue here as well. So what projects have you guys been working on? What has captured your interest? It would be fun to know what you're doing. I, can you believe, you guys, we're into March. We're into March, and it's almost officially spring. I, I was just thinking that spring is just not wanting to come after, you know, after we went through that period of cold and snow here where where I live, which from what everybody tells me is so not normal, you know, and then it's like, okay, well, <laughs> you say that, but I see snow. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you're having some good weather and able to get out and about perhaps a little bit now, maybe. Um, in our state, the if all goes well, our governor is looking at uh, lifting the face mask uh, restrictions um, by the end of March. So we'll we'll see. I I actually I know people have different views and thoughts on all of that, and and I respect others views than my own uh, but for myself I am look what I'm doing this was not caught really well so I'm going ahead and, and gluing that down I'm perfectly fine with wearing a mask out and about if it makes it safer for other people not to worry about me coughing on them or sneezing or or whatever it might be I'm happy to do that I just anyway I mean obviously you uh, want to be careful and I do and my husband and I we really don't we do we do eat out on occasion and we go to socially distanced restaurants um, and we wear our masks in, and we wear our masks uh, when we leave, obviously when we're eating. It's really hard to get a drink and sip anything when you got your mask on. <laughs> but we don't do it as much as we used to, of course. And haven't really gone shopping shopping in a really long time. It just, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've enjoyed being at home, really. I've enjoyed this time. And I've enjoyed, you know, I enjoy hanging out with you guys. I was telling my husband the other day, he was like, why haven't you done your, you know, your YouTube video? And I said, can I be honest? Yeah. <laughs> I said, it, it kind of frightens me. And he's like, it frightens you. What are you talking about? You're so good at it. I said, well, I don't know about that, but it frightens me. And he's like, what frightens you about it? Okay, so look how pretty. Is this just going, yeah, la, 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 la. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there, you guys. So what we have to determine now is, and this is why I say print two. Print two. Now, let me give you a different option. We're not doing that today, but let me give it to you in case you want to do something of this nature. What I did here, this is a paper napkin. And, of course, you know, you take the layers off. There's usually two white layers, and then you have your decorative layer. And I used a Mod Podge, or that's what I use. You can use any other medium of a similar nature. 
and I glued it on. Obviously, this is before I stitched the envelope together. But I put some glue on this side and this side and laid my napkin on. I cut my napkin to exactly the size I wanted. And then I just carefully laid it down and then I just kind of with my hand just kind of went like this because I didn't want to Mod Podge over this. And, and it doesn't have that. And I like that better than the kind of, I don't know, the texture that comes when you put it over. I do that for some things, but I didn't want it for this. So that's what I did with that. So you can do some different things. And then what I took, remember when we cut off this extra piece? So this is what I did with it. I just cut it into two pieces and I made it so it matched my envelope flap. And I think that that looks great. I love it. And then I added just this piece of, of uh, lace. It's un, uh, unfinished lace that I picked up in a thrift store. And it, I, I just think it looks great on here. So that's an option that you can do as well. But I'm going to show you with using the other piece, we're going to incorporate that in here today. Okay, so this measures, let's do this. Um, it's almost five, let's say five, four and seven eighths. And let's see what this is now. Four and seven eighths by six and a little over seven eighths. Okay. So, a little over six. So, let me grab two of my rulers. This is a six inch wide ruler. And a little over seven eighths. So, we're going to go this much because I would rather trim off than to trim my envelope down again. <laughs> so this is our width. We'll go ahead and cut that. And then of course that will give us extra. Now, if you don't want this image to show on both sides, see this will go here, but if I didn't want it there, I could do this with it as well. So you just decide what kind of look you would like. I like this image. I think it's amazing. I think it's beautiful. So I'm perfectly fine with that. What did I say that was? What did I measure that at? Four and something. <laughs> Four and what, you say? Anyway, I was sharing with you my husband and, and him, you know, me saying my fear on on the video. And he's like, why are you scared? And I said, well, you know, it goes to that just not sure about is my stuff good enough? Am I, you know, will people make fun of me? Um... Uh, comparing, you know, I love to watch uh, videos myself, and I just think the gals that I watch, they're just so inspiring and creative, and, and uh, you know, sometimes I feel like there's no way I can be like that and be amazing, and, and so anyway... And he just kind of was like, oh, of course, you know, he loves me and he thinks I'm amazing. <laughs> and I'm so glad he does, you know, but. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue the back of this and then we'll put it on. 
So, I suppose one of my hopes and desires is that as time passes, that I will be able to work through my fear of, of me not being, you know, good enough on here. Or, And it's not that anybody, for the most part, honestly, you guys, you have been the most amazing. I, I feel like I just, I don't deserve the, the sweetness and, and the kindness that, that has been shown me, really. But I do so appreciate it. It's just within my own self, you know, my own weird insecurities and that kind of thing. But, okay. Now, see, this would look really pretty if I just, I could even go at this point. I wouldn't have to cover that up if I didn't, you know, I wouldn't have to cut that V out. I could just go like this. And look at that. Look at that. Even without any additional decoration. Is that so pretty? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to add a little bit more up here. And then we'll cut this out. Let's see if we can match up our dots a little bit. A little bit. And I have, I have a couple of these so we can play with this just a little bit, I think. How's that? That work? Mm. It's not bad. I mean, I don't have to do something like that. I could even, if I wanted, I could put a layer of lace. I could put a lace there. Love me some lace. <gasps> How would this look if I grabbed some of that? You know what? Let's just, you know, quit thinking, Rhonda. That's, that's not good. Just quit. I think I'm just going to go with this. And I'm going to, no, it wasn't that one, was it this one? <laughs> no, it wasn't that one, it was this one. All right, I think this is the one I'm going to go with. So we will just put some glue down here and there again. Use what glue you're comfortable with. And I may have wanted to just use, actually, stick glue because this can have a tendency to get, you know, feel a little lumpy for a sec here. Wait, did I do that right? Did I do that right? Did I? Did I? It's not perfect. It's not by, you know... By any stretch of the imagination, it's not fabulous. I mean, this paper's fabulous, but my, <laughs> my execution is not, my friends. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim that down. Okay. So now it's just a matter of cutting here. I'm going to go ahead and trim this, trim this, trim this. Where's my ruler? Using my quilting stuff like I do. But you are perfectly, it's perfectly wonderful to just trim that by whatever method you would like to do that with. Okay. So here we go. Oh, this is looking so pretty. Okay, so now is the point where I can trim some of this off. There's a teeny bit of white showing there, and I'm not going to worry about that too much because I'm going to go ahead now and trim. Then I'm going to bring this over here match so I trim the very same amount 
I don't normally do it that way, but because this is an envelope and I want it to look, you know, kind of professional or, you know, not a silly jobber, I want it to look even. Okay, it's looking good. This is really nice. Loving it. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish decorating. We'll put the little bits and bobs on here. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm doing a lot of gluing, I find that I feel like I get little goobers. <laughs> little gloobies. <laughs> and so I, you know, want to take care of those. All right, so this, this is what I had decided that I would use. I cut these out previously like I mentioned to you before. Um, and what phrase do I want? I, I love all of these. What I've done with these uh, cutouts or these phrases as I've boxed it in white, as you can see, uh, Barbara has created them so that it's really easy to do that. And I like that little box. So you could do, I mean, simply just this, and that would be wonderful. Maybe I will just do that. It doesn't always have to be... Well, but I want to show you what I've been doing. And to do that, I kind of need to at least do a little something here. Okay. So, black and white and kind of a grayish green. Let's see if some of this would work. Oh, I love this paper so much. I hope you guys will get an opportunity at some point to have some of this amazing. I actually, I'm going to, I will share this with you. I am going to scan some of my pages from this book that I I have no idea I, that I've told you previously. You may not have seen the videos where I've mentioned it, but that this is an old, uh, old Dutch. The book is written in old Dutch. It's a religious book about religious families. Um, and I'm going to scan some, some pages and eventually uh, they will, I'll put them in my shop so that other people can at least have the writing and the, you know, the deliciousness of this. But, I mean, just having this is just fabulous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just rip around her. I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy with her, but, yeah, okay, let's see. And to do this, I want to move that up. Okay, I like that. Not sure where I want to put the little butterflies yet, and I know this is going to go on like so. Let me, you know, I'm looking for a certain paper that I have. Let's see. This. Okay. I think this will be nice. And this is masking paper. And it was... Girl on a Ridge, Laurie, that I was watching one day where she had discovered this masking paper. It's thin and it's very sturdy. 
And so I, she showed it and all of the possibilities and I was like, oh, I need some. <laughs> you know how that goes sometimes. Let's see, how about like that? How about like that? Okay, I like that. What do you think? Come on, throw it out there. Be honest. Um, ta -da -da -da. I think I will go ahead and we will edge the sky so it stands out a little bit. And this is vintage photo. I deliberately did not edge on one of my envelopes that I did today uh, to show you and that was this one. I thought this was just very just kind of feminine and the white and I, I changed the font to use one of Barbara's different fonts uh, like I did it and I didn't used one of her different phrase pages to give me a different font on here and didn't antique or edge anything for that particular one. But I do so love the, I just, it's just, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just edge a little bit around this one. It's already pretty grungy. I've obviously scrunched this piece of paper up and laid it out and it looks like it's even been ironed at some point but I have no idea what project that it came from just went in my scraps I think I like the idea of having it off-centered a little bit what do you think should we go tell me what you think would be better off-centered with her up or, yeah, I agree. This is better. This looks more balanced. Okay. So, where's... Okay, give me a junk page, Rhonda. As you can see, <laughs> I am kind of like... Trying to hurry here, you guys. Which isn't easy for me, either. I... Apologize. Sometimes I just get too wordy, but I'm excited and I want to share with you what it is I'm doing and I want to make sure that you can follow, if you want to, you can follow my directions and and have your own wonderful successes in whatever. I am just feeling very, very grateful today. Grateful for my Savior, grateful for friends and family, grateful for you, my amazing online friends. You, you make me happy. <laughs> you really, really do. Okay, I'm see. It gets my fingers get goobery. Just like I say, I I need that cloth all the time. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I may go ahead and edge this. It's in the details, the small little details you guys that can make such a huge difference. Okay, this one I will will go ahead and use. Come on, our art glitter glue again. It's so weird because I honestly don't keep myself to one glue or another. Um, I mean, I do use Art Glitter Glue, and I use uh, usually the same brand of, of stick glue, but I go between Art Glitter and, a, and stick glue and double-sided tape and Fabri-Tac. There's like those four that I'm always intermixing. Okay, now... Let's see about our sweet little 
butterflies, our green butterflies. I love these. This is just, and I kind of wanted them sort of together, like, I like that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, my friends. We need to get on, get her done. And I hope that you will head on over to Barbara's shop and maybe find some, whoops, that doesn't look so great. Yeah, that's better. And maybe make some of these if you are so inclined. I think if you try it, you will love it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so at this point, you guys, I am calling this envelope decorated. I'm loving it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the video off. I'm going to stitch around and then I will come back and show you the finished envelope. But at this point, if you don't have a sewing machine, go ahead. You can use your art glitter glue. I wouldn't recommend stick glue. I don't think it's sturdy enough. Uh, or use Fabri-Tac and glue, you know, obviously the inside here. Just very just a nice little bead there and let that dry and you should have your envelope finished is this the coolest you guys look at this we have literally recycled this envelope okay i'll be right back guys all right here we go here is the finished envelope i have stitched down here and put it together and you've got a really nice sturdy envelope all right you guys this is it for me today i hope that this has been fun and informative and that you will do some recycling of those envelopes that you get and go over to barbara's and check out her shop and until next video guys have a fabulous day. I love you. Bye-bye now.